Alright, today guys, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make one of these Bella songs, or as it is more commonly referred to as a butterfly knife. You can do some really cool tricks with it. It's very addictive. I'd say this is more of an intermediate build. It's not the easiest to do, but if you have the time and the patience, you can do it. So let's get started. Alright, so what you want to do first is you want to design your butterfly knife how you want it. So for me, I've got a 11 centimeter long blade and the handle is going to be 13 centimeters long. You need four of these identical normally, one centimeter thick at this end, 1.5 centimeters thick at that end. This is what I'm doing. You don't have to copy me, but if you want to, that's fine. So now I'm just going to cut this out and then we'll stick it on the piece of metal. So I've cut out the pieces that I need. I cut these ones a bit too big. So I'm gonna have to sand them down that line there. Same with this one. So I'm gonna do that first. Then I'm gonna take some of these sharp edges and burrs off with a file and then they should be good. Alright, now that we've cleaned up the edges on the handle, we're gonna drill out these holes here. So I'm gonna mark them with a center punch, and then I'll go ahead and drill out the holes with the drill press. Now I'm gonna clamp these two pieces together when I drill so the holes are aligned. All right, so now we've cut out all the holes that we need, as you can see here. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut out my template for my knife, and then we're gonna go ahead and slap it on a piece of metal, trace it out, and then cut it out with the angle grinder. Okay, so before you cut out your blade, you wanna make sure that the blade can fit inside the handles. So you want the blade to finish about, I would say, two centimeters from the end of the handle, so you can fit the spacer in there. You see on this one I made, it has a spacer there, as you can see, on this side as well. That way the blade can fit inside, like that. And you also want to make sure that they're not going to get in the way of each other when they open and close. So I'm going to have to round these ones off a bit so they don't get in the way. But now we're going to cut out the blade. So now we've cut out the rough shape of the blade. We're going to clean up these edges with the bench stop grinder. You can use a handheld grinder if you want or if you don't have a bench stop grinder. And then we'll use the belt sander to clean it up even more and the blade will be pretty much done.
Okay, so I've got it looking pretty good with the bench top grinder. Now, instead of using the belt sander, I'm just gonna use a Dremel bit inside the drill press, and then I'll use it to clean up these edges even more. Alright, so we've cleaned up the blade with some sanding paper and sanding box. So now, looks pretty cool. Sides look really good. So now, I'm going to drill the holes for the handles. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not going to sharpen it because I do believe it's illegal to own a butterfly knife in my country. But if I don't sharpen it, then it's technically not a weapon, so it won't be illegal. Let's drill these holes. Alright, so I've put it together. This is just temporary. I just put some rivets in so I can see if it could work. As you can see, they're getting in the way of each other in the center on this side and this side, so it's kind of hard to open and close. So, I'm gonna have to round them off a bit. Once we do that, it should be good. Then we'll have to add those little stoppers in there and some spaces here. Alright, as you can see, I round off the edges on the handle. So now, there's no way they can get in the way of each other, however you do it. Now, it is possible to do tricks at the moment but it's not very efficient. So first of all, I think we should do the spaces first. So the little bits that go on here, like on this one I showed you. All right, that will be really simple. Do that right now. All right, so cut out the spaces here. They just fit in there like that at the end sandwiched in between the two handles. So what I have to do, drill the holes, make sure they're aligned properly, and then we can screw them in, or you can rivet them, or whatever you like. So let's do that right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp them together like this, and slowly put it in there, because I don't wanna get it to catch on and fly away. So I'm just gonna do it really slowly, and I'll make like little holes on the spacer, and I can take the spacer out, put it in this little vise clamp thing. That way it'll be more precise, so I don't drill through the other side of this. Now I have two little holes here, so I can drill through them. Now just repeat the same process with the other spacer on the other handle. And make sure it's the other handle, you don't want to use the handle that you just used, because it will stuff it up. Now I've drilled the holes, so I'm going to use my tap and die set so I can fit the screw in. Alright, I'm just going to do them individually. Alright, so I put the screws in where we drilled the holes and put the thread in. They look kind of nice like that, so I think I'm going to leave them like that. But what I have to do now, just clean up some of that stuff there over here as well. And then we're going to put those stoppers in. I think that's what they're called anyway. They look like that. Okay, now at the moment, you can kind of do tricks. It's a bit annoying because they haven't got the stoppers in, but once we get those in, it'll be good. Alright, so I've cleaned up the edges over here, so now it's time to do these little stopper things. I'm going to put one right there, so I'm going to mark it out with a sharpie. And you want the blade to be straight, and when you mark it out you want to make sure that you're putting it right in the middle there. About there is good. Alright, so we'll draw that out now. Okay, so what I've done is I've screwed this little screw in here. This is going to act as a stopper and so what I have to do now is use the Dremel to cut a little slot in there so the handle be straight. Same with this one. It needs to be able to close properly so at the moment it can't. So that's what I'm going to do right now. As you can see, I filed it down so it no longer goes further than that point there. Alright, so I need to do the same to this one. 
then we'll do the one up here and it'll be finished. All right, so I've filed it down. So now when you open it, the blade can no longer swivel. But when it's closed, it can't go that way, but it can still come out that way. And that's where the blade is. So if this was a real one and you were doing some tricks with it and stuff, and you're holding it like this, the blade could come out, cut your hand. So we need to add another one here. Like you can see on this one, the blade can't come out. So that's what we're gonna do now. Alright, so we're pretty much done now. All that's left to do is to cut these off. So cut this stuff off here, bit of this off, and then maybe cut these down. Might keep those, that looks kind of cool. I like that. I'll clean it up a bit, and it's done. So I've put those little rivet things in there and I've put a spacer here so it's pulling these apart a little bit so that way when I peen the ends of the rivets it won't close real tight on the blade so it can still move freely. So I'm going to do that to both sides. So now I'll show you how to do it. So just want to grab a ball peen hammer. Just tap on the ends. Flip it over. There we go, that's one side done. It can still move freely, but it's stuck there now, it doesn't come out. Gonna do the same to this side. There we go, we're done. Well, there you go, you made it, I made it. I'm just gonna tell you now, if it is sharp, be careful. <laughs> Cause you will cut yourself doing tricks and it will hurt. But if you do cut yourself, not my fault. Everything you do is your decision, not mine. So I take no liability to anything you do with your butterfly knife. That's all up to you. But all I'm saying is be careful. But if you like the video, you know the deal. Share with your friends, family, llama, whatever, I don't care. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.